morning guys so it is seven in the morning and I've already pumped I'm obviously ready for the day um, I am getting ready to go to work and I just need to get the kids dressed and pour my milk from my pumping session into a bottle um, and then get them dressed and get going so I was gonna do like a full like 24 hours um, with a baby type of video but um, but Mike and I are actually going to um, a company dinner for his company tonight so I figured you know, I'll just do like a day in the life of a working mom because I'm doing like, um, well, all my normal things that I would do um, on any other day, like Monday through Friday, but except we have a business dinner as well. And then tomorrow we also have a gender reveal party for one of my best friends. And it's just like it, it, the, everything, it's just so crazy in between that. And then after we get home tonight, Mike still has like a couple of furniture pieces to make and it's just like, it is crazy. It is mass chaos right now. But anyways, all right, into the routine. Um, I did just want to mention really quick too that um, you guys have no idea how much I've struggled with my milk supply this last week. So I had a kidney infection, was on antibiotics for that. And then while I was on antibiotics, I got really sick with a bad cold. Um, so while I was really sick with that cold, I had taken, um, Theraflu. Now I only took like one dose and it was right after I was done pumping. And then I waited like four hours between, um, because that's what my doctor said to do. Just like wait a good chunk of time because I was miserable. You guys, I was so sick and it was my brother's wedding. Um, anyways, so what ended up happening is my supply the next day just plummeted. I was... I was devastated um, it, I went from like pumping like anywhere from four or five ounces for my first pump session which honestly was not so great in the first place because I had, it had already like plummeted from the antibiotics um, I went from like four or five ounces um, and then dropped to like two two and a half ounces and then I was producing like maybe a half an ounce to an ounce a day um, or an half an ounce to an ounce per like pump session and I was panicking now the reason why I'm telling you guys this is because I want you guys to know that um, my milk is coming back up so it is possible to get your milk supply back up even after it seems like you've lost it I was seriously almost ready to give up hope um, but my supply is slowly but surely coming back because this morning I'm back at four ounces that I pumped this morning so four ounces will go into a bottle for Riker and um, this is from my last night's pump session. There's two ounces here. So that's actually gonna go downstairs with the rest of his milk. But anyway, yeah, it is possible. Lots of Greek kicked up my pumps to eight times a day instead of five times a day, just to, you know, really get that milk flowing again. And now we're back on track. So there's hope. <laughs>
I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> You're okay, honey. Here you go. Welcome. I hope I got that on camera. That was so cute. <laughs> I was squeezing her too hard, like when I was pulling to like tighten the um, car seat straps. <laughs> She's like, you're hurting my bones, mom. Stop hurting my bones. Oh my God, that was so cute. All right, now it's off to daycare and see what else. Yeah, daycare, preschool, work, boom. I went a little heavy on the eyebrow thing this morning. <laughs> All right, here we go, good enough. Your car seat is all dirty and mommy really needs to clean that before we put it back in my car, huh? Mommy's car is finally fixed. Ew, seriously, gross. Well, look at Kids. this. Kids. Ready? Look at this. I find a little jingle. A little jingle. Oh, there it goes. Okay guys, so um, as I mentioned in my last video, like my last video like this, um, the kids are both going to separate daycares right now, so um, usually by the time I get out of like dropping Kaya off at daycare slash preschool, it's like eight o'clock. Um, my morning routine is like pretty much always the same, but you guys really like to see it, so I like to share it with you. Um, you know, again, after I drop both the kiddos off, it's like eight o'clock because the first daycare, the kids are at separate um, daycares right now, so Riker will get dropped off at 7.30, and then by the time I get him settled, I come out and then make my way all the way across town to Kaya's preschool slash daycare. Um, it's like 7.50, by the time I get out of there, it's like eight o'clock, so now it's eight o'clock, I'm on my way to the office. If you guys are new here to my channel and you don't know what I do, I am an accountant for a company here in town and actually I was I'm like just switching positions. I was offered a new job, a new position um, for another company in Fargo. Um, I shouldn't say a new position, it's, I'm still an accountant. Anyways, that's what I do for a living and then my husband, he's usually up at five in the morning um, he goes to work at 5 and then comes home at 5 p.m. and he is um, a scheduler so he like writes up schedules for um, a local construction company here in town and um, so he like writes up all their jobs and like schedules like you know which of his guys need to go to which job on which day uh, talks to contractors and like coordinates things etc etc so um, and it is his company that we have a company uh, it is his company that we have a business dinner with tonight so I actually brought with my curling iron so that during my 15 minute break at work I can run into the bathroom curl my hair really quick um, so that I'm ready to go right after work because I believe social hour starts at like 530 so um, yeah so I have to be like ready to go right at 530 and um, I just showered and like kind of like half blow dried my hair this morning so this is like kind of half natural half whatever but anyway that is just like a little tidbit about Mike and I and our jobs and we're crazy and yes so we've got that tonight um, and like I said after that we've got I believe it's a gate and a barn door that we need to finish because we also have the side business if you guys are new here um, we have a side business where we make like rustic style furniture, things like that. Um, and we have like hundreds of orders at all times. So Mike will be working on a gate in the door after we get home from his company dinner. And I will be editing this video and getting it up for you guys while I put the kids to bed. Isn't that crazy? Oh, our schedule is so insane. It will get better one day, you guys. It will get better. But all right. I'm gonna go to work. I'll show you guys what my pumping sessions look like while I'm at work. I'm gonna go. <laughs> okay guys, so I look a little bit more glam than I did earlier. Uh, <laughs> I am now ready. We have that business dinner tonight. Hair is curled, makeup's completely done. I just had to run over for my new job. I had to take a drug test, which I've never taken before. It's like so many rules. They're like, don't flush and don't wash your hands until we say so and 
put your pee in a cup here and all the things. I've, I've never had to take a pee test before. Besides at the doctor's office for UTIs and pregnancy tests. And there's a whole heck of a lot less rules for those. Anyway, so I just got done with that. Ooh, my camera's moving. Um, I just got done with that and now I need to go pick up Kaya and meet Mike back at the house and I need to change my shoes. Yeah, I think that's it. I'm trying to decide if I want to wear my flats um, or if I want to wear my um, heels. It's like kind of cold outside though, it's only 59 degrees. So it's a little cold for like strappy heels, but we will see. Um, I think like social hour begins at 5.30. So I, yes, I have a little bit of time, not much, but I have a little bit of time. Go get Kaya, run to the house, change my shoes, grab her iPad and Riker's bouncing, bouncer seat, and then, drop the kids off and go to um, whatever you call it, the place. I honestly don't even know where this place is that we're having social hour. And then after social hour, we're going to eat at um, a really nice restaurant um, in downtown. So, all right, anywho. And I showed you guys in my last clip that I pumped just about seven ounces today. I would say it's like six, a good like, like 6.75 seven ounces between three pump sessions um, that's excluding the one that I do Whoo, heartburn not in the world um, that was excluding my pump session from like this morning when I first got up when I first got up I pumped four ounces and now I've pumped an additional seven on top of that and I still have probably only one more pump session left tonight but anyways my um my output like I mentioned earlier has been like much much lower um than it was before I was getting like seven ounces then four ounces then three ounces three ounces three ounces two ounces the rest of the day <sighs> after all these meds and whatever it's been really bad you guys it went down to four or it went down to like two ounces only in the morning and I was getting like a half an ounce each pump session. Um, so where I'm at right now, I'm really happy that it's already boosted this much in only two days. So like I said this morning, four ounces plus the seven ounces. So we are sitting at, what is this, like eight, nine, 10, 11 ounces. Sitting at like an 11 ounce day so far. I bet you when I get home too, I'll pump about two or three ounces so not super great but at least like half of his half of his bottles for tomorrow will be breast milk um and that is my goal right now with my supply being so low i was just really shooting like to get back up to the um like halfway mark and then hopefully next week i'll be back up to fully producing and um getting him enough breast milk for the entire day we will see, I am bummed, but what do you do? At least it's going up a tiny bit. So. Okay guys, it is like 10 o'clock. We just got home from our business dinner. I obviously didn't record it because um, I didn't want to whip out a camera in front of like Mike's company. That would be really weird. But um, we just got home. Oh, my leather jacket's like flaking, super weird. We just got home, I really need to pump. It's been like a good six hours since I've pumped. Um, and I started leaking at dinner. How embarrassing is that? Anyways, okay, so I will have this up for you guys. I'm gonna announce this on my Instagram too, but I'll have this video up um, tomorrow night after I get off work. It will be like a late evening video, so um, I'll make sure I get this up for you guys, and then we will have another day in the life on Sunday, and I'm gonna kinda like show you guys our landscaping that we're doing. So we're doing like, grass and we're putting like mulch in and things like that so it should be super fun but anyways you guys all right i'm gonna end the video here for today if you like this video please be sure to give it a big thumbs up i know it was a lot of me chatting today but um i really like chatting with you guys on these like busy like working mom day in the life leave a comment down below make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel before you leave and hit that bell notification button so you don't miss out on any of my crazy videos and i will see you guys on sunday for another day in the life on our landscaping okay bye guys